Yes, good morning students. Good morning to your destinies. God loves you. Hi guys. How are you? My name is Mark Jaroge Mugai. I am an online tutor. I make online tutorial videos. My YouTube channel is official Mark Mugai. Please subscribe. And you can also like my page on Mark Mugai, Facebook page on Mark Mugai. Please subscribe. Don't miss it. If you have not seen them, please uh, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can see my previous videos. Now, I want us quickly to look at this topic about CAMS. It is a very important topic in engineering, drawing and design for diploma students, especially in module 2. And what is a CAM? CAM, a CAM is a, is a rotating machine element which gives reciprocating or oscillating motion to another element known as a follower. So a cam must have a follower. So we have the classification of cams. Yeah, radial or disc cam. The follower reciprocates or oscillates in a direction perpendicular to the axis. When we are using the radial or disc cam, the the follow the 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 the, the follower will reciprocate on the cam. In a direction that is perpendicular to the cam axis. Then we have the cylindrical cam. In the cylindrical cam, the follower reciprocates or oscillates in a direction parallel to the axis. The follower rides in a groove at its cylindrical surface. Now we have terms in, 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 in most in engineering drawing and in automotive, we only focus mainly on radial, on radial or disc cam. We only focus on this. This cylindrical has its own application. Most uh, importantly, in, uh, in in we have it in marine engineering and aeronautical engineering. But in automotive engineering, uh, in vehicles, we use the radial cams. So let us look at term used in radial cam. So we have the basic terms used in radial cam. We have the base circle. It is the smallest circle that can be drawn to the cam profile. This base circle. Uh -huh. So you can even I can even refer to it direct. This is the base circle. This is the base circle we are talking about. You can see I've labeled it very well for you. The base circle. You can see I've labeled for you. This is the base circle that we are talking about. This this is the smallest the smallest circle that can be drawn to the cam profile. The next uh, the next term that is used in in engineering and in cams. This topic we have the pitch circle. It is a circle drawn from the center or of the cam through the pitch point. The pitch circle. This pitch circle. It is a, It is. It is. It is like this. It is this circle here, which is drawn from this point, from the center point, from the center of the cam. This is the cam, and this is the center of it. From this point, that's when you have been able now to establish this dotted, dotted pitch circle pitch circle, I can just zoom in so that you can see uh, what I'm talking about, this pitch circle. The next uh, uh, term that we use is the pitch curve. It is the curve generated by the trace, generated by the trace point as the follower moves relative to the cam. For knife edge follower, the pitch curve and the cam profile are same, or else for a roller follower, they are separated by the radius of the follower. For pitch, for pitch circle, as you as we as we are seeing here, for pitch circle, as you can see here, uh, uh, pitch curve for pitch curve, it is generated from the trace point. And the follower moves relative to the cam, which is a trace point. This is a trace point. This point, and that's why from this point we are able now to establish the pitch curve. The pitch curve. The pitch curve. This is the prime circle, but we have the pitch curve that is generated from this point that we call the trace point. Then we have the lift of the stroke. The lift of the stroke, it is the minimum travel of the follower from its lowest position to the topmost position. So we have the lowest, the minimum travel of the follower from the lowest position to the topmost position. Then number five, we have the prime circle. The prime circle. The prime circle. It is a smallest circle that can be drawn from the center of the cam and tangent to the to the pitch curve. This is the prime circle that I've been uh, that I'm talking about. The prime circle. This is the prime circle, like I've labeled from this point. This dotted dotted line. This dotted line. This is the 
prime circle and you are seeing that it is the smallest circle that can be drawn from the center of the cam and tangent to the pitch. So we also have the press point, the trace point, the, the sixth term that we can use is the trace point. It is the reference point on the follower and is used to generate the pitch curve. This is now the trace point. And in this case, we have used a follower that is called a roller follower. And so this point is which we call the trace point. So I've shown you the cam profile. You can now look at, I uh, can look at this sketch. I've shown you, this is the now the follower. As you can see, this is the follower. As you can also see, this now is what we call the prime circle. As you can also see, this is what we are calling the base circle, which is the smallest circle. Then we have the prime circle from which, from which you're seeing that from, from, from the prime circle, we can now draw a tangent that you can draw a curve like this. So these are some of the basic features that we were, that we are looking for. Let me show you now in my next uh, page, I can show you now how, what happens, uh, uh, to all of this. Now we have the followers. We have the followers. In my next video, I will show you now how these followers are sketched, how we can sketch and how to apply them. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you.